the third process of the Align Plan and Organize domain called Manage Enterprise Architecture, has four process goals. The first process goal is to ensure that the architecture supports the enterprise effectively. The achievement of this goal is measured by the project realized benefits due to architecture involvement, and by the level of the architecture customer feedback. The second process goal is to enable the architecture to support agile enterprise changes, and its achievement is measured by the percent of projects that use the architecture services. The third goal is to ensure that reliable architecture information is provided. The achievement of this goal is measured by the number of identified gaps in the different architecture models, and by the customer feedback of the information quality. The fourth goal is to enable a common enterprise architecture framework and methodology. Its achievement is measured by the percent of projects that use the architecture methodology, and by the number of trained people in its use. This process has five practices, and the first one is to develop an architecture vision. From a RACI charts perspective, the entities that are responsible for this practice include, the business executives, the architecture board, and the chief information officer. The entity that is held accountable is the chief executive officer. This practice receives three inputs which are, the principles for enterprise architecture from the EDM4 process, the strategic roadmap from the AP02 process, and the enterprise strategy from external sources. It generates three outputs as well which include, the scope of architecture to be used by the AP02 process, and the architecture principles to be used by the BAI2 and 3 processes. The activities involved in this practice include, identifying the key stakeholder requirements that need to be addressed by the architecture, and identifying the enterprise strategic goals and the constraints that are hindering their achievement. The architecture objectives should then be aligned with the strategic requirements priorities. The enterprise's readiness for change should be assessed, and the required capabilities should be identified. The scope of the architecture should be defined, which includes the baseline and target architectures. The architecture principles should be defined, and the architecture vision should be created based on the stakeholder needs and the enterprise requirements. The target architecture goals and metrics should be defined, and the change risks should be identified and assessed. 